break away, break through, break through, break, through. break free, break out, break out, break out. Watch Real Life Talk TV. You need real wisdom. You want real power. Watch Real Life Talk TV. You need real wealth. You want real purpose. Watch Real Life Talk TV by Robert Lewis Taylor. Break away, break through, break free, break out. Turn in the New Testament to 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verses 7 through 9, looking at the message version. It's after 1 Corinthians and before Galatians. 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verses 7 through 9. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is a divine truth not sold in stores. You are in charge of your present in charge of your future, in charge of your destiny. I don't care if you are an old dog, you can learn new tricks and be happy and be successful. I don't care if you are a young pup, still wet behind the ears, you can stop generational curses as well as defeat negative stereotypes. I encourage you, no more hesitation. I encourage you, no more procrastination, no more trepidation. Your mission, stop living beneath your privileges. Start living up where you belong. Now, right where you are, everyone, take a moment and praise the Lord for the gift of this, a brand new day. Our text, 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verses 7 through nine. Because of the extravagance of those revelations, and so I wouldn't get a big head, I was given the gift of a handicap, a thorn in my flesh, to keep me in constant touch with my limitations. Satan's angel did his best to get me down. What he in fact did was push me to my knees. No danger then of me walking around high and mighty. At first, I didn't think of it as a gift and I begged God to remove it. Three times, three times I prayed and then God told me my grace is enough. God told me my grace is all you need. God told me his grace is sufficient. Second Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verse nine, the Lord said, my grace is all you need. My grace is sufficient for you. Repeat after me, break away, break through, Break free, break out. Our lesson title, strength for your journey. Strength for your journey. Ladies and gentlemen, when you read this passage from the Holy Bible, you immediately, just like me, you immediately notice a contrast. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, the writer testifies about going from paradise to problems, from experiencing the blessings of heaven to feeling anguish. He testifies about going from delight to distress. But then, but then you see in that second, cha that 12th chapter of 2 Corinthians, you see in verses 7 and 8, his testimony shifts to experiencing the rough side of life, to experiencing what we would call hell on earth. And boys and girls, life teaches all of us that contrasting experiences always seem to be linked together in all of our lives. Pitfalls 
and progress, contrasting experiences, healing and hurting, ecstasy and agony, peace and war, tragedy and triumph, growth and growing pains, smiles and frowns, crosses and crowns. We never seem to escape the fact that our life's journey involves contrasting experiences. That's life. Things that make us happy, make us sad. Joy and pain, sunshine and rain. rain. Life can be bitter, life can be sweet. Sometimes devotion, sometimes deceit. Life teaches us contrasting experiences are linked together, ups and downs. Things that turn you on, turn you around, then they turn you off. Always hurting each other. If it ain't one thing, it's another. And this is the written testimony of a believer whose life was similar in many ways to yours. So here in 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, he testifies that the hardest of his suffering came from an ever present thorn in his flesh. And from his testimony, we know that his thorn resulted in a bunch of negative situations. So the Bible doesn't tell us what his thorn was, but it does show enough tell us that his thorn resulted in a bunch of unwelcome, unpleasant, unwanted stuff in his life. And perhaps, perhaps there is a thorn or thorns in your life. You, you know the, the nasty kind of thorn that gets under your skin and gnaws at you, causing you all kinds of physical torment and spiritual anxiety. You know, the kind of thorn that seems to always be messing with you big time. The writer, the writer here pleads, ask God over and over, ask God to remove to take away the source of his physical pain and mental stress. This is why when we, we get to that ninth verse, God's response to this believer's prayer has become a source of enormous inspiration, has become a source of tremendous spiritual healing for you as well as for me. For all of us who have spent endless hours trying to sleep with a broken heart. All of us who have been trying to make it with shattered dreams. Trying to press on when it looks and seems as though all hope has vanished. Trying to live, dare I say, under hellacious living conditions. God's answer took only six words. God said, I, I want you to get this. God said, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, his grace is all you need. If you're hurting, if you're feeling hopeless, his grace is all you need. If you're dejected, if you've been rejected, if you're discouraged, if right now you're downcast, his grace is all you need. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling outnumbered, if you're feeling oppressed, good news, God's grace is all you need. When and whenever, where and wherever you need support, you need courage, you need strength, you need joy, you need power. I want you to know there is a never ending, more than abundant source of grace available. Never forget through it all, 
sunshine and rain, you know, life's contrasting events through it all. Paradise and prison ins and outs, victory and defeat, highs and lows against all odds. God's grace is sufficient. But not only that, but not only that, how many of you believe that the Lord has so much more in store? His promise for today, his promise for tomorrow, his promise forever is this. He gives more grace and then he gives more and more grace and, and then he gives more and more and more grace. I'll repeat after me. Break away, break through, break free, break out strength for your journey. Don't want